Well guys, something a little bit different for our YouTube channel today. We're visiting the uh, WA Shipwreck Museum. Have a look at some of the stuff we've got in here. It's absolutely amazing. Um, all Batavia stuff and uh, amazing relics. Let's go and have a look guys. Now we're in the museum and we must have our temperature taken. Let's see what the temperature is. Let's go guys. And first off we've got a nice display of bottles here. And we just happen to have the bottle that I um Doug and Coolgardie, J Schwepp. 1872. Um, some really cool relics in this place guys, stay tuned. Well here we're gonna go into the Batavia, the most amazing story to a shipwreck you'll ever hear. True pirate stuff. Oops, I just about break the door. Cheers guys, amazing, the real Batavia, one of the cannons off there. Some amazing history right here guys, I'll fill you in a bit later. One of the cannons, I'll insert a few photos now. This was wrecked on the Abrolis Islands in 1629 and a humongous mutiny happened. I'll let you look up the story. Um, it is phenomenal the story that happened with this ship. That's some of the ballast that was in the ship at the time they recovered. And um, let's just take a look over here guys. We've got the original cannons. A bit dark I know but I'll insert some photos here. This is one of the bodies that was actually dug from um, the island. And this poor fellow succumbed to the mutiny. And you can tell by some of the injuries this guy suffered. One notably here at the back of the head. And you can see where the actual blade came down and, and chipped his skull. Uh, broken nose, shattered nose, teeth. Uh, hands were cut off, very gruesome. But this is a history of uh, Western Australia, guys. Really, really full on. Yeah, it's a little bit dark, guys, but check this cannon out. The date on it, 1603. The decoration is amazing. Crest, originally off the Batavia. Lots of things on display, guys. I'll try and point out the most interesting stuff we've got here. Um, but this is the inside of it. They've recovered from the reef at the Brothers Islands and they've put it all here in amazing uh, temperature controlled rooms. So this is preserved. 1629. Wow, <laughs> the history. Well, this is pretty interesting, guys. This is actually off the ship. Shot cage. Still in pretty good condition. Powder canisters. Yeah, amazing. Well, guys, this anchor here is called the Kedge Anchor, used to in a desperate attempt to winch Batavia off the reef. And it's shown in an illustration here in 1647 uh, with Batavia. Yeah, so that's further recovered in 1971. And you can see here it's pretty, um, pretty delicate. This is some of the really interesting stuff, everyone. Check this out. Original padlocks from the Batavia. I love that padlock. I'll try and get a zoom in on that. That's amazing, from the 1600s. 
the one thing I really, really, really love is this inkwell and stand. Probably pewter, I would say. Um, may have belonged to Pelsart. So yeah, the head honcho of the Batavia. Some writing slates, dividers, and the Beardman jugs. All part of this uh, shipwreck recovered recovery. So this is what one of the rooms would have looked like, everybody, on the Batavia back in the day. Good little uh, recreation for people to understand what it would have, like, would have been like to live on the ship. Here you have all the pipes, guys. All the clay pipes that have been found on the shipwreck. Lots and lots and lots of them, and you can date them by um, the shape of them too. So. Here we are at the really good stuff everybody, check this out. You won't believe the amount of silver coins that have been pulled from this wreck site. Have a look at this. Well, all of us detectorists love finding, but unfortunately we won't really find here in Western Australia unless uh, you get to these shipwrecks, which is highly illegal, totally protected by federal government. Look at that. <laughs> there are cases and cases and cases of original Batavia shipwreck coins here. The history behind these, everybody, unbelievable. I just think these were on the ship when it went down and more and more and more. I'll zoom out a bit. These are really, really amazing. I've never seen coins like this before. Look at that. Look at that. Still left in the in the coral from way back in the day. I love this. Look at all that, guys. I can't get over it. The amount of silver coins here. Wow. What a display that is. A few dollars worth right there. I must make a correction. This isn't all off the Batavia. There's a few shipwrecks around Western Australia. Uh, main one, most historical, most no, uh, notable one is the Batavia. Uh, the Rapid is the other one. And the Zoidoff. And there is a Gilt Dragon as well. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of amazing shipwreck uh, history here in Western Australia. Yeah, guys at Batavia was carrying a lot of silver too. Check this out. Love this stuff. All these relics from the Batavia. Not sure what's in that. Number six, which is a cherub with trumpet. Wow, I'll try and get a zoom in on that. I'll try my best. Oh, yeah, you can make it out. That's cool. You see what it said that they all see. Yeah, lots and lots of amazing stuff here. Love how they've left the earth and we're still in the reef. In situ. Something us detectors find quite a lot are the old cloth bag seals or bag seals. Obviously a lot older than what we find here in Australia. One thing I find really interesting about this particular gun, guys, is the, the broad arrow that it was found on the Dutch uh, shipwreck. Obviously captured from a, an English ship back in the 1600s, as you can see here. The English one with the, yeah, the broad arrow, so I thought that was really interesting. Ship to ship pirate battles for sure. How cool is this one, guys? Still in the reef, pipe bowl. 
That's awesome. Some other stuff the museum has, guys. Really old tools. This is an actual engine recovered from the shipwreck SS. Can't say it, can't pronounce it, but anyway. The engine still works. Wow. There's the engine. There's a display of how the ship, uh, shipwreck looked on the bottom with the engine. It's an amazing uh, model, actually. Diorama. Looks like it was carrying lead ore at the time. Got some examples here of some indigenous artwork done back in the day. The first things they would have seen uh, of white settlement or explorers. So they painted them on the rocks or etched them into the rocks. I bet they were thinking, what the hell are these boats? Yeah, well this is one historic plate. It was um, placed on Dirk Island in 1616. We've actually got the original plate here. Very, very historical for our state. This stuff's amazing. Dutch weapons. I love this. These are all recovered as well from, um, from the shipwrecks. There's all your um, different types of like musket balls and stuff. What's left of the gun and I think that's really cool. There's some indigenous weapons. An original sword. What's that say? Number one, which is let's get the other side. Number one. Just um, pause that if you want, have a read of this. Um, anything taken from shipwrecks is highly illegal in our, in our country. And um, this is donated anonymously, probably for the reason why they would have got in trouble if someone's actually dug it from a grave on Beacon Island from Batavia. Actual sword, you've got Palisades Journal. From Batavia. Love to read that one day, but it's not going to happen. Some old bells. Well, this is stuff we're more likely to find detecting guys. Obviously not the bottles, but you may find them in bottle dumps. I found a few of those in my time. The actual, um, I think they're a fig, fig jar. Old plates. I thought they were bottle caps for a sec then, but uh, obviously not. Yeah, this is off a shipwreck in, uh, from 1852. So that's the kind of stuff that uh, we can find here in Australia more often on, on land. Another shipwreck, guys. Looks like 1800s. Found by these bottles, all discovered off our coast. Small pipes. Bracketing of old chests. Chess pieces, old irons. Yeah, really, really amazing stuff. This one's an interesting one. Look at the barrel found with all bones in it. I've just read here that it was for um, officers and everything, fresh meat, but that's pretty creepy. Now we're on our way out 
right, everyone, got to go through the gift shop. Lisa's favourite part. <laughs> well, guys, that's about it. There's plenty more in there to see, but I do want to bore you all with everything. So if you're in Frio, pop in and have a look at that. It's amazing. Some of the stuff in there is cool.